Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a movement video. I'm teacher Erica. Today, we're gonna to take a little dance break and we're gonna do some other things. The first thing we're gonna do is a game and it is called walk, stop, wiggle, sit. And those are the four things we're going to do during this game. Walk, when I say walk, stop when I say stop, wiggle when I say wiggle, sit when I say sit, okay? And we're kind of working, challenging our brain to think about things before we do them, right? So we're giving our brain an opportunity to think, what am I supposed to do next? And then do that thing, right? And that's a good thing to practice because that's what we have to do most days. All right, we're gonna start. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay, the first bit I will do with you. So I will also be walking, stopping, wiggling, and sitting. But the second part that we do, I'm gonna have you do it on your own for more of a challenge, okay? And I will just be saying the things. All right, so let's start with walk. Go ahead and walk around in a little space that you have for yourself. You don't have to have much room, it's fine. Walk, 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 walk. Stop. Good. Walk. Wiggle. Walk. Wiggle. Good walk. Stop. Walk. Stop. Stop. Wiggle. Sit. You're doing a good job? It's tricky, right? All right, let's walk. Wiggle. Walk. Stop. Wiggle, sit. <laughs> I like this game. All right, let's stop. Let's walk. Let's sit. And then let's wiggle. Walk. All right, let's go ahead and let you have a chance on your own. So you keep going. I'm going to stop so you won't be able to see what I'm doing. Let's see if I can trick you. Here you go, go ahead and walk. Stop. Wiggle. Stop. Walk. Sit. Wiggle. Walk. Walk. Wiggle. Nice job. How did you do? Did you have an easy time following directions? Did you have a hard time following the directions? You could practice this game anytime. All it takes is someone to say the words to you. You can even say them to yourself like I was doing. It's kind of good practice for the brain, right? All right, now we're going to flow through two sun salutations together. I know you guys have been working on your sun salutations and other yoga moves with the uh, smile and learn videos that I've been sending and maybe you've done them with me a couple of times, maybe you haven't had a chance, so we'll do them together now. All right, here we go. I'm going to get on my yoga mat, but I'm actually gonna bring my mat a little bit closer to my friends. There we go. Now when I'm flowing through these sun salutations, I'm gonna start in mountain pose. My body's feeling calm, neutral, Strong. I'm gonna start with my hands up, raise the sun, welcome a new day, dive down, forward fold, good, step one foot back, hold here for a moment, step the other foot back, hold in a plank, lower your knees, chin and chest to the floor, and push up into upward dog or baby cobra. Maybe you want to do a baby cobra today because your back's a little bit sore. Very good. And then pushing, turning the toes under and pushing back into downward facing dog. Very good. And stepping the same foot 
up again and hold. And then join with the other foot and hold. Very good. And then back up to greet the sun. And one more time, dive forward. Step back with the other foot this time. Hold here for a beat. Good. Join your other foot into a plank pose. Here we go, knees, chin and chest to the floor, and pushing up into up dog, or baby cobra, and pushing back into downward facing dog again. I'm gonna walk the dog a little bit here because that's feeling good to me. Okay, and then I wanna do one more pose with you and that's camel, and we're going to do some camel prep by getting on our knees like this, putting our hands out in front of us, there we go, and we're just going to touch our heels one at a time, one, then the other, and one, and then the other, one more time on each side, and then we'll hold it with both hands down if, we, if you can, if it feels good, if it doesn't feel good, don't do it. It should hurt a little bit, right, as you stretch, but not too much. All right, I'm going to put one hand and the other and just give my back a stretch for a moment. Oh, that feels good. And I'm bringing myself back up. Very nice. Nice try. I hope that that felt good to you as well. All right, we're going to end today by laying on our back on the carpet. And we're just going to start to notice our joints. Well, I guess I'm on a mat. I'm on a carpet and a mat, actually. Maybe you're just on a rug. Maybe you're just on a mat. All right, I want you to put your feet up in the air. I'm going to take my socks off so that I can see my toes. It's good to see things that you're working with. All right. And first, I'm just going to start by wiggling my toes and noticing those toes. I have 10 of them. Count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten toes. I'm moving every single toe, articulating every toe, even my pinky toe that doesn't really like to move so much. But I'm going to move it. All right, and now let's think about our feet and let's open our feet and kind of smush our feet up. Flex our feet, point our toes. Flex, point. We're gonna move to our ankles and roll our ankles one way. Good, and roll your ankles the other way. Oh, good. For the back of our legs, we're gonna put our legs kind of up in the air. And we're gonna pull them towards us and feel if we can feel our little calves and shins here. You can also do some pointing and flexing, thinking about this lower leg area, right? Think about those muscles, send them some love, send them some golden light. And now our knees, you can do kind of like a little swirly-whirly to lubricate your knee joints a little bit. There. And then I want you to feel your knees and feel your patellas. Your patellas are your kneecaps, right? Feel all the parts of your knee. Feel the back of your knee. Maybe notice how that joint moves. It's like a hinge, right? If we didn't have these knee joints, then we would not be able to bend our legs. It would be really hard to do most everything. You can try that sometime. Try doing something in your life without bending your knees. It'll be a lot harder. All right, and then we're gonna think about our, you know, upper leg area, right? So for this, what I wanna do is I wanna take it to one side and keep our back on the ground. Take those legs to one side. And then take them to the other side. See how my back is still staying, my upper body is still staying on the ground? 
Like my shoulders are glued to the floor, but my legs are moving. Good. That feels really good. And then we're gonna think of our back. And to do that, we're gonna do a little rolling like a ball, okay? But for this, you have to be careful. You have to tuck into a ball. So I want you to kind of curl up tight. I like to put my hands around my ankles and then I tuck my head. If your head is not tucked, you will hit your head on the ground and that will not feel good. Okay, so tuck like a ball. You can balance first, practice balancing, and then go back and come up. And you can use your, your abdominal muscles kind of like a break. Watch this. I'm not going to touch the floor with my feet. I'm going to break right before I get there. And it might be tricky for you at first, but if you practice, then you'll get stronger and you'll be able to do it really well. It will be super fun to roll like a ball and massage your spine. Can you feel your spine as you roll? Oh yes, that feels good. All right, and then we're gonna give our, we're gonna think a little bit about our abdominal muscles here for a minute. And to do that, we're just gonna take some belly breaths. So we're gonna send some breath into our belly. Here we go. See if you can make your belly go up with, fill it up with air, and then send it all the way out. Two more times. In. Fill up your belly. Get all the air out. This time I want you to vocalize your exhale. That means I want you to make a noise when you're breathing out. Are you ready? We're going to breathe a big one in. Into our belly. And it sounds really silly, but it's really good for your lungs because it shoots all the air out of your lungs and wrings them out. Kind of like if you're wringing out a dish towel full of water, it gets all the air out. I'll do one more time. Let's do a loud audible exhale and I want you to make this. Just don't worry about being goofy, be goofy. You ready? Here we go. <laughs> it's fun to do that. Get all the air out. Good. Very good. Now we're going to think about our chest a little bit. Take a few deep breaths into your chest. Good. We're going to raise up our arms. Move our fingers. Oh my god, those fingers. Maybe you can do a silly thing to yourself. Maybe you can do a silly thing to someone else. Fingers, fingers, and then hands open. Flex your hands and then make a ball. Flex and make a ball. Good. Open your jaw when you open your hands. Ah, ah, and smush your face in your hand. Open wide, ah, and smush. Good, and then roll your wrists. One direction, the other direction. All these joints help you move and do exercises that smooth your elbows. We could be like a fist pump, right? Raw, raw, raw. <laughs> do a little elbow movement, go the other way. Hey, hey, we can just do like a silly. And then shoulders, for shoulders, let's try raising them up to our ears, like <laughs> smush your shoulders up and then lower them. And smush them up and lower them. Smush them up to your ears and lower them down. Good. And then for our head, let's just roll our head back and forth like you're saying no. All right. And you're just going to massage the back of your uh, skull a little bit. And that's really good to activate your chi, get your body energy moving, to stimulate your spinal column and your cerebral cortex. Just move and shake. Anytime you move something, it's good. It's not good to have stagnants, right? So you don't want things to sit still. You want everything to be moving, moving, moving. All right. Oh, maybe you're a little bit dizzy like me. Take a minute to calm down and relax. Very good. And then you can turn over on your side, kind of like a little baby, right? And just curl up into a little ball. Just take a minute and give yourself a kind word. Say thank you for doing work and thinking about your body, right? 
give yourself a kind word. Thanks for doing hard work to take care of yourself. Self. Just take a moment to relax in this field. Very good. And when you're ready, you can sit up. And then you can go about your day and enjoy yourself. I know that my body feels better now and I am ready to go and do some gardening. What are you gonna do with your day? I wonder, maybe send me a photo. Okay, I love you, thanks for joining me, bye-bye.